We live in a rapidly changing global society, driven by mega trends. Global income is rising, and so is the demand for products for which chemistry is essential. From pharmaceuticals, to metals in our mobile phones, to plant protection products, chemicals create many benefits. But they may also affect human health and the environment if not properly managed. In 2002, heads of state and government agreed to minimise adverse effects from chemicals on human health and the environment by 2020. To track implementation of the 2020 goal, the United Nations Environment Programme was tasked with developing the second global chemicals outlook. Over the past three years, more than 400 experts have contributed their knowledge. The result? is a comprehensive report on the state of chemicals management around the world. According to the second Global Chemicals Outlook, the chemicals industry will more than double by 2030. Whether this is good news or bad news for humanity really depends on how we manage the challenge. Large quantities of hazardous chemicals continue to be released and put stress on critical ecosystem services. The burden of disease from selected chemicals was estimated at 1.6 million lives in 2016. Over the years, we've learned a lot about the hazards and risks from chemicals and waste to planetary health. The data gaps, however, are a challenge for evidence-based policymaking and risk communication. This therefore calls for further research and enhanced engagement of the scientific community. While many countries have strengthened their chemicals and waste management systems, major implementation gaps remain. For developing countries, the findings of the Global Chemicals Outlook are very important. They highlight the uneven implementation of chemicals and waste management in countries around the world and point to opportunities for enhanced knowledge sharing, capacity development and innovative financing. International treaties and frameworks have been put in place, which successfully addressed a number of chemicals and waste issues. But overall, progress has not been sufficient. Business as usual is not an option. The report reveals that we have failed to achieve our 2020 goal. We therefore need to join our forces to improve the effectiveness of chemicals management. Opportunities exist to scale up promising initiatives. New opportunities, challenges, actors, responsibilities and actions have been identified, such as strengthening the interface between science and policy, engaging the financial sector and making extended producer responsibility a reality. Universities are integrating green and sustainable chemistry into curricula. Front-runner companies are advancing standards beyond compliance. Industry and entrepreneurs are developing innovations to support sustainable development. Global discussion platforms like the Strategic Approach for International Chemical Management and the UN Global Chemical Outlook 2 not only are welcome, but they're a critical step moving forward. Our industry remains determined and committed to lead this transformation. The Outlook presents areas for action to accelerate progress. These range from integrating chemicals and waste management in construction, energy and agriculture policies to advancing widespread implementation of sustainable supply chain management. The ongoing development of a future global approach for SciChem and the sound management of chemicals and waste beyond 2020 provides a historic window of opportunity. As a global chemicals outlook highlights, we need to set a high level of ambition, bringing together all relevant sectors and stakeholders. We cannot achieve the sustainable development goals without the sound management of chemicals and waste. What is very clear is that we must do much more investing in research, developing technologies that allow consumers to make safer choices, and putting in place policies that steer us to a safer world for all of us.